Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about how America is having the same economic problems that ancient Rome did and how it may talk to the fall of our country. The first thing we're going to talk about is inflation. Inflation played a huge role why ancient Rome fell. Inflation occurred because their money lost its value when taxes and everyday food started to rise. Nero and other emperors debased the currency in order to supply demand for more coins. As this graph shows, the inflation rate went all the way from 0% to 90% as the years progressed. By debasing the currency, it meant that instead of having its own value, it was now only represented by how much gold and or silver were contained in that coin. Inflation rate in the United States of America is 1.5%. And once it gets high enough, that means that our money will be worthless and that we would have to trade by something else. The great increase in Rome's domains had driven down the cost of slave labor more economically than paying wages to free men. Also, the price of land became more expensive, so that meant that the poor could not afford land and only the rich could. The poor were having a hard time finding jobs because they were very badly paid and there was not many of them. So that meant that in the widening gap between the rich and poor kept increasing and inflation started to increase. The gap between the rich and poor in America is growing because we have technology now that replaces jobs that used to be for low pay or no cost, and that is hurting our lower class. Wow, when the upper class people are having their normal jobs and making a lot of money, and also their taxes are not as bad as the lower class people. And that also is bad because that means that technology is taking over our jobs and we can just send our lower class jobs to other countries for lower cost. As you can see in this graph, the widening gap between the middle class, the lower class, and the rich is widening. And that is not good because that means that the gap between the rich and poor is growing. As you can see in this graph, this is the money they make after our taxes. Disruption and trade played a huge role in why ancient Rome's economic factors caused it to collapse. That happened because the hostile tribes outside of the boundaries of the empire stopped their trade ships and took them over and took their goods. Also, that also tribes came into their empire and took all their goods and did not give them back. In this picture right here, this shows what ancient Rome traded to other countries and what other countries traded to Rome. The United States have many problems with trade. Like on the tip of Africa, we have Somali pirates that take over our trade ships and do not give them back until they get a lump sum of cash. Also, we need oil from other countries, and if we lose those contacts, then we have to produce them ourselves. And if we cannot produce them ourselves, then we will run out of the resource. In this picture right here, this shows our imports and exports to the countries that we trade with. Also, it shows in the red and the green how many billions we get. As you can see in this picture, we had no problem with gold or silver in the 1900s, but as the 2000s started to approach, we started to get low on our gold and silver. Thanks for tuning in to watch this week's episode of Is America Turning Into Ancient Rome? Tune in next week to see what Joey got on in this project.